Okay, so here I am again. It's late, 10 to 10, and I haven't done my video yet. Well, I did half of it. I did some food stuff today, and I'll have to disappoint you guys, and I don't have a throw out this week. So I've been painting instead of sorting out my throw outs. Sorry. Anyways, the recipe is over here of what I'm going to show you guys. One medium butternut. Three tablespoons olive oil or oh, wait backwards two tablespoons sugar preferably brown or dark brown but you can use any sugar I've even even used xylitol one teaspoon cinnamon one teaspoon salt coarse or Himalayan salt works best and one teaspoon pepper coarse pepper works better Oven at 220, you cook it for 40 minutes and then you toss it once in between after 20 minutes. So the video will follow um, of how to make it and how it looks. And of course, you guys have no idea how good it tastes, but if you give it a go, you'll find out. Okay, see you next week. Bye, videos following. Hi guys, so today I am sharing my nicest butternut recipe with you guys so i chopped up one butternut yeah it was a huge one so normally this recipe is for one medium one so because it's so big i'm gonna make double the ingredients so first what i do is olive oil you would have done three tablespoons now i'm gonna do six tablespoons because i've got so much butternut so if you do one medium butternut, it's only three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going for six now. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, I love olive oil. All right, next ingredient is packed brown sugar um, it's like a sugar that looks like molasses here is my sugar looks like that all right um, it's got a very nice texture taste two tablespoons so I'm just gonna guesstimate so that is one two and because I'm making double I'm gonna do four you would just do um, two tablespoons right, of packed sugar if you don't have this molasses kind of sugar you can always try brown sugar i've done it before with xylitol to make it healthy and i've uh, tried it with um normal brown sugar but the packed one just makes it nice and crunchy it's very very nice the third ingredient is a teaspoon um cinnamon yes my cinnamon and so i'm going to obviously put two one, two teaspoon ground cinnamon, and then it's a, a teaspoon kosher salt. I'm going to do my Himalayan salt, um, and then freshly ground black pepper. So I actually throw that straight over there. So this is my mixture now, and I'm going to just stir it in with a little spoon. Makes a dark brown paste. Okay, so now I'm going to throw this over. This is exactly how it's supposed to look like, don't worry. I'm one of those people that like to scratch things out well. Because I don't want to wash and have stuff drifting and I don't want to waste. So everything is going to be scratched out in here. Okay, and then now I haven't put my pepper or my salt on so here's the time that I'm now gonna put my pepper on and I remember it needs quite a bit I've got some grated pepper over here in my water and pester so I'm gonna sort of add that in so it's nice and lots of pepper I love black pepper my children is not that fond of it but too bad and then the kosher salt
Now remember it says one teaspoon of each, but I must now do two. So if it looks like I'm doing a lot, not really. Now your oven has to be preheated at 220 degrees, which is quite um, a lot. And then we're going to cook it. I'll have to get back to you with how long. Um, let's see. It is about, I normally do 20 minutes. Then I stir it, and then, then I do another 20 minutes, and then it's done. Or until it's soft. So about 40 minutes. All right, now we're going to toss that. So I'm going to use a, a wooden spoon. Thank you to my friend who bought me this. She knows who she is. I actually use. And now I'm going to just mix it all in. It becomes a lot more juicy and delicious. So when I'm done with this, I'll show you the end result. Okay, but it is delicious, it's tasty, it's healthy. And in the oven it goes. Okay, there we go. In the oven it goes. Thanks for watching. So here's the butternut all done. Look at it, it's so juicy, delicious. I must tell you, it is absolutely fantastic. It's got this coating on it with the cinnamon and the salt. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Okay. What's as easy as that?